Elon versus Biden is still on board. Elon Musk remains convinced that President Joe Biden is ignoring him, even after he said the word Tesla in public, and promises to behave if the White House ever extends an invitation. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Elon Musk keeping his roast and Biden game on as Biden has been ignoring Tesla, but not at every point. Want to know how? Stay with us till the end of the video. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. In an email exchange with CNBC, Tesla spokesperson CEO reiterated his belief that the Biden administration is overlooking the electric car makers' achievements in favor of more established automakers. Musk claimed that Biden has consistently ignored Tesla at every turn, falsely claiming that GM leads the electric vehicle industry. Last quarter, Tesla produced over 300,000 electric vehicles, while GM produced only 26. Due to battery defects, GM halted production of its electric vehicles, including the Chevrolet Bolt last year. According to the Detroit News, production will resume on April 4th following reports that Musk would be excluded from future meetings between the administration and corporate leaders, Musk wrote to CNBC. Biden, on the other hand, finally acknowledged Tesla publicly earlier this month. Since 2021, companies have announced investments totaling more than $200 billion in domestic manufacturing here in America. Biden said during a speech about the growth and future of domestic EV production. He further said that iconic companies like GM and Ford building out new electric vehicle production to Tesla, our nation's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, to innovative younger companies like Revivan building electric trucks or Proterra building electric buses. Musk was not pleased with the president's long-awaited acknowledgement. It got to the point where no one in the administration was even allowed to say the word Tesla, which was hilarious. Musk added to CNBC in an emailed response and said that the outrage from the public and pressure from the media forced him to admit that Tesla does, in fact, lead the electric vehicle industry. That isn't exactly praise in his opinion. The billionaire claims that there is no animosity between him and the president, and that if he were ever invited to the White House, he would do the right thing. They have nothing to worry about. I would do the right thing, Musk said when asked if the administration officials should be concerned that he would embarrass the president if invited to the White House event. As far as not causing a ruckus, Musk said, I have nothing against Biden otherwise, apart from general concern about more deficit spending, which would apply to any president. For months, the White House's apparent indifference to Tesla has been a source of contention for the CEO and his supporters. Musk has complained that Biden favors long-established automakers like GM and Ford as the future of American car manufacturing rather than Tesla. Musk claimed the administration was not the friendliest and controlled by the unions after an August White House meeting of car makers, which excluded Tesla. In January, Musk reacted to a White House video featuring GM CEO Mary Barra, claiming that Tesla had been left out once again. I mean it when I said the future was going to be made right here in America. Companies like GM and Ford are building more electric vehicles here at home than ever before, Biden tweeted. Musk replied, starts with a T, ends with an A, ESL in the middle. It was enough to pique everyone's interest, so fans did what anyone would do when confronted with a problem online. They started a change.org petition. As of this writing, 32,500 people have signed the petition, which simply asked President Biden to acknowledge Tesla's leadership in the field of electric vehicles. However, that number is rapidly increasing. Tesla fans urged Biden to mention the electric vehicle company by name in the social media campaign. On February 8th, Biden said as much in prepared remarks, referring to Tesla as our nation's largest electric vehicle manufacturer. The White House said in a statement to CNBC that Tesla is a big part of why the entire industry now knows EVs are the future. Nonetheless, the relationship between the automaker and the government appears to be sour at best. For the Biden administration and congressional Democrats, Tesla's non-unionized workforce is a major sticking point. Tesla has been accused of suppressing union activities at its factories, and Musk was even ordered to delete a tweet threatening to take stock options away from unionized employees. Musk has been a vocal opponent of the Biden administration's policies. At the Wall Street Journal's CEO Council Summit in December, Musk complained that Biden's Build Back Better plan included unnecessary investments in electric charging stations and suggested that the U.S. government get rid of all subsidies. The White House appeared to be irritated by Musk's dismissal of subsidies, 
with a spokesperson telling CNBC on Tuesday that Tesla benefited greatly from past EV tax credits. Musk has also hit back at regulators who have investigated the company, calling the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration the Fun Police for forcing the company to disable a boombox feature that allowed the car to play music through external speakers. Musk's attorneys claim that the CEO's public criticism of the government has prompted excessive federal scrutiny. Tesla attorney Alex Spiro claimed in a court filing on February 17th that the Securities and Exchange Commission was looking into Tesla and Musk because the Tesla CEO is an outspoken critic of the government. According to Spiro, the SEC was attempting to chill Musk's right to free speech. Musk had reached an agreement with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, over a tweet he sent that hinted at the possibility of Tesla going private. According to the agreement, a Tesla lawyer will review Musk's tweets that are relevant to the company. According to the reports, the SEC has issued a warning to Tesla for failing to follow the terms of the settlement. Musk has also made personal jabs at Biden on occasion. He's still sleeping, Musk responded to a Twitter user who asked why Biden had failed to congratulate SpaceX on its first all-civilian flight crew, exaggerating former President Donald Trump's insult of Biden, who was named Sleepy Joe by him. Later, someone else tweeted an image from the film Alien, with the alien grabbing the face of an astronaut being labeled UAW and the victim being labeled Biden. Seems that way, Musk said in a tweet in response. Musk has been fighting the United Auto Workers Union, which has so far been unsuccessful in organizing workers at Tesla's factories. Bill Nelson, the former senator who was appointed by Biden as NASA administrator, sent multiple tweets of congratulations to SpaceX during and after the flight. Inspiration for congratulations. With today's splashdown, you've helped demonstrate that low Earth orbit is open for business, Nelson sent out in a tweet. Low Earth Orbit is now more accessible for more people to experience the wonders of space, he tweeted last week after liftoff. We look forward to the future, one where NASA is one of many customers in the commercial space market, onward and upward. During the Freedom Convoy protests, Musk tweeted and later deleted a meme comparing Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to Adolf Hitler, which he later deleted. Musk wasn't above a little levity when promising to behave at a possible White House meeting. Musk promised to do the right thing was his second response to a question from CNBC about whether the Tesla CEO might embarrass the president. What's the first? Two emojis that say, roll on the floor laughing. However, the Biden administration has benefited Musk businesses in a variety of ways. SpaceX has been given contracts to deliver supplies to the International Space Station as well as U.S. astronauts. Although many of the contracts predate Biden's election, the company has received additional contracts this year. Despite protests from Blue Origin, the rocket company led by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, which had also sought the contract, it was awarded $2.9 billion in April to build spacecraft that will land astronauts on the moon for the first time in five decades. Tesla has reaped significant benefits from regulatory tax credits it sold to other automakers who failed to meet stricter emission standards. Tesla, which only sells electric vehicles, has a surplus of credits that can be sold. If the Biden administration follows through on its promise to tighten emissions rules, those credits could become more valuable. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.